first thing you have to start with is self-determination and understanding what self-determination is. And most people are going to assume that self-determination, if I type it into a Google search, they're going to think that it applies to themselves because people don't understand the difference between basic terminology that you would find in the Webster's Dictionary or a political right or in a legal sense or a lawful sense when it comes to how things operate on the planet. So you actually have two definitions here for self-determination. The process by which a country determines its own statehood and forms its own allegiances and government. Then vaguely under here is a term that people would understand the process by which a person controls their own life. I'm self-determined. I have a lot of determination. This is the context of what people would believe, correct? Yes. How many people are going to associate this as a process by which it says a country, but in international law it's going to say a people, not a country, because this is just Wikipedia, it's just Google search, what do you want to look at here? What is self-determination? National gateway to self-determination. Definition of self-determination. Let's see what the free dictionary has to say about this. One's own fate or course of action without compulsion, free will, freedom of a people to give an area to determine their political status. See, it's in here. But how many people actually read a dictionary? How many people ever read a legal dictionary? Well, very few read a legal dictionary. I was one of the very few. <laughs> Yeah, but you didn't start that process until four years ago, five years ago, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So most of our lives, like for me, same thing, up until about age 38, I never read any of this, never read a constitution, never read any legal opinions about a constitution, never read the UN Charter, did not know how the planet operated, period. Because until you read this stuff, you don't know. The UN Security Council has now had over 7,600 meetings since 1945. That's about one meeting every three days to determine what is going to happen on the planet. This is doing general definition searches because we're talking about where would you start? Even the name of the website, Matrix Solutions, or Matrix Solutions Reloaded, or the right of self determination.com, or three keys to freedom.com. What are the three keys and what do they mean? Number one, maintain your health. Number two, acquire financial independence. Number three, protect one and two via international law and the right of self-determination by exercising self-determination. One and two are easy to understand. What's not easy to understand is why would I need this? My government's here to help me out. Why would I need any protection? Well, after 4,000 years of history, we see that all governments end up taking advantage of their citizenry. They're there to fleece the citizenry. That's been the job of all governments throughout time. Is it Aristotle or Plato that said that the problem with not being involved in politics is you end up being governed by your inferiors. But how can you be governed by your inferiors when you're not even governing yourself? You're not involved in the political process. You're not part of the 7,600 meetings that have occurred to determine what's going to happen on the planet. Someone else is doing this for you. Therefore, you are not controlling your own life, which means in both of these definitions right here, they're not doing either one. They're not controlling their own life, and they haven't become together as a people to determine their own statehood. People have never determined their own statehood. Because you're born not knowing anything. Even if you're born among the elite, they tell you what your statehood is. Your parents tell you what it is. So why are people going to say, well, I never agreed to it? Yes, you did. Your parents taught you to agree to it. 